NBA young boy jumped in public. Chasing, I got a dream to chase. What grade did you drop out at night? The Baton Rouge rapper NBA Youngboy is known as one of the hottest rappers of his generation, but it looks like even the 38 baby can be caught slipping. Recently, Youngboy has been involved in some heated online beefs, and one of those enemies may have taken things a step further as it seems. Youngboy was jumped and beaten in broad daylight. Welcome to Lime Report. Before we begin, be sure to leave a like, subscribe, and check out the link in the description to enter a chance at winning our Apple product giveaway. The list of enemies with a grudge against Youngboy seems to grow every day as the Louisiana rapper has never been afraid to speak his mind. For around a year, Youngboy has been dating boxing legend Floyd Mayweather's eldest daughter, Ayana. But it seems that relationship is past as the rapper has been spotted with a new flame as of late. Youngboy and Floyd never got along, and after Ayana nearly killed a woman at his house, it seems their bridge has been burned as well. But the Mayweathers aren't the only ones with a vendetta against the prolific young star. Many have come and gone in recent years with words for Youngboy, but none so foul as his former friend and collaborator, Kodak Black. The two used to have a good relationship, but after a few missteps from both sides, things have never been the same. Kodak has spoken out against Youngboy recently, and the two broke out into an all-out war of words on social media. Kodak has since threatened to straighten out the 38 baby rappers. A strong motive probably places Kodak as suspect number one in the case, but he's not the only rapper who would want to bring harm on NBA Youngboy. J.D. Young and Antikashi69 both have grudges against the rapper as well. With so many strong leads in the mysterious case of who orchestrated the attack on Youngboy's life, fans are divided on who should be the prime suspect. Thanks for joining us everyone, today we'll be taking a closer look at the rumors going around claiming that someone was able to jump Youngboy and beat him down. Stay with us as we reveal the truth behind the swirling rumors of an attack on Youngboy's life. You won't want to miss any of this. It comes as no surprise that someone would want to come after NBA Youngboy, especially in these times. Just last week, Youngboy revealed on Instagram Live that someone has been trying to take his life by way of a drive-by. The news sent his fans into a panic as the thought of losing the rapper to such a senseless act of violence is pretty terrifying. Hip-hop has suffered some major losses in the last few years to gun violence, and the negative trend has left a lot of fans on edge. The video that revealed the harrowing event was shot from one of his baby mama's phones as the rapper has deleted his Instagram account in hopes of focusing on his own mental health before returning to social media. But with all the madness that's been surrounding him lately, it seems fair that Youngboy hopped on Instagram to give his fans an update on how he's been doing. The video started off with the rapper previewing some new music as he typically does on his live sessions. After combing his hair for a moment and singing along for the teaser track, he took things down slow and prepared to reveal the shocking news to his fans. The rapper then goes on to address his fans and that's when he confirms that he was almost killed in a drive-by as the rumors had been reported. The news obviously sent shockwaves through his fan base, and although many people asked for more information, Youngboy didn't offer anything further. Throughout the years, the young rapper has done a good job of keeping his mouth shut in bad situations in order to avoid snitching on himself. Youngboy is unlike a lot of today's class of rappers that have a tendency to brag about the wrong thing. As we've seen in some recent cases, the words and lyrics of some artists have been successfully used to score an indictment, proving that it's more important than ever to watch what you say in any setting as a celebrity. Could the person that sent a hit squad after Youngboy last week be the same person to have ordered the jumping of the Louisiana-born rapper? Don't go anywhere as we reveal the identity of the wicked mastermind behind the attacks on Youngboy and why they've decided to use such force against the formidable rapper, exclusively here on Lime Report. There are only a handful of really compelling suspects with a true motive to try and teach Youngboy a lesson, but figuring out who the real corporate is could prove to be more difficult than most have guessed. Probably the number one suspect in the case is the infamous rapper Kodak Black. The recent events are just the latest in Kodak Black and Youngboy's ongoing saga. The two appeared to be friends at one point, even collaborating on a few tracks together. But over the years, their friendship has deteriorated and the two have turned to throwing jabs at each other. Honestly, this beef gets a little confusing if you haven't been paying close attention. 
But both rappers are certified street dudes, so it's almost a guarantee that neither plans to go back off. Their beef started back in 2017, but has been hot and cold since then. However, things got really bad between Youngboy and Kodak around the time that Ayana Mayweather got arrested at Youngboy's Houston home. Since then, the two rappers have been slinging some serious shots back and forth, and things may come to a breaking point. The two used to be friends, but since they're falling out, it's been all bad on both sides. When Kodak heard of Yaya's arrest in Youngboy's house, he decided to chime in, calling Youngboy a rat for allegedly cooperating with the police. Youngboy got on Instagram Live and vehemently refuted the claims, calling out Kodak in the process. The expletive-laden response to Kodak fueled the fire and broke out into an all-out war between the two rappers that lasted days as each took turns blasting the other on either Instagram or Twitter. The insults got deeply personal and it wasn't long before each rapper was threatening bodily harm and worse to the other. Although Kodak still sits in jail, he still has the means to call for someone to have jumped Youngboy in the middle of the street. Much like Youngboy, Kodak began his career by way of the internet and was quickly able to build a strong legacy. With the kind of wealth he's acquired, paying for some muscle even while locked up could prove to be no problem. But he's not the only person with a strong notice to attack the rapper. Keep watching as we uncover the next culprit that could easily have called out for both a hit and beating against the Make No Sense rapper. You won't want to miss out on any of this. Aside from Kodak, there's another pretty powerful rapper that would like to take Youngboy out, but it's not the person anyone would expect. One of the biggest threats to the Baton Rouge rapper is actually none other than world infamous super snitch Takashi69. As the man credited for taking down Nine Trey, 6ix9ine will go down in history as one of the worst snitches to ever disgrace the hip hop world. And rather than apologize for his ludicrous actions when he returned, 6ix9ine has worked hard to ensure that he can bring all on top of the artist down to his level. 6ix9ine is known for his lengthy and often wild sessions on Instagram Live, and he's been back at it like there's no tomorrow since being released from prison. Usually the rapper uses the live sessions as an opportunity to connect with his fans or promote his newest music, but 6ix9ine has been doing much more than that as of late. Recently, Takashi took to his IG Live with DJ Academics to discuss the possibility of a fan writing a verse for his newest album. After discussing many different options on who the writer could potentially be, 6ix9ine then started going off on a few different topics regarding his numbers on the charts versus those of his peers. Academics chimed in claiming that there were definitely some guys who may not be charting but were considered platinum in the streets. 6ix9ine brushed the comment off saying that he didn't want to talk about that because platinum in the streets is just an excuse that people with herpes use. At first, people were confused to who 6ix9ine could have been talking about, but some fans quickly pieced together the references and realized the Brooklyn upstart was throwing shots at none other than Youngboy. In the past, Youngboy released a single that alleged he contracted herpes from one of his ex-girlfriends and he has often been referred to by many as platinum in the streets. So the description fit pretty well. But what could Youngboy have done to set 6ix9ine off far enough to send some goons after the young Louisiana rapper? The feud between Youngboy and 6ix9ine isn't as public as the one with Kodak Black. The biggest reason the two share bad blood is because Youngboy snubs 6ix9ine and also now refuses to work with him in light of the snitching against his former gang. In reality, everything that occurred throughout 6ix9ine's cray downfall was a product of his own doing, but he still gets really angry when anyone tries to suggest that he was wrong to cooperate with police. With all the bad that 6ix9ine has done, he finds it easier to point the blame at someone like Youngboy instead of point out his flaws. It's clear that someone's trying to send a message out to NBA Youngboy, but no one knows who exactly it is that's coming after the young rapper. Plenty of people have a true motive to try and buy his silence, but as far as it appears, no one's been able to successfully get to Youngboy. As his career continues to flourish, it's no question that more people will want to come between the rapper and his own level of success. The road ahead for NBA Youngboy will be definitely a tough one. In the last week, someone has already tried to come for his life on two separate occasions. That means whoever's behind the attack against Youngboy probably won't stop until they finally send the young star to an early grave. But so far, Youngboy's been able to survive everything that's been thrown at him, so we can only wait and watch as things unfold between him and his enemies.
Although we can't say for sure what will become a young boy, it's clear that he has someone lurking in the shadows, waiting for the right time to strike, so he's gonna have to be more careful in the way he moves from here on out. But will the attacks against him ever stop, or will his enemies get what they want and take young boy out of the game for good? Thanks for joining us on Lime Report, everyone. Make sure to let us know what you thought about today's topic in the comment section below. And before you go, be sure to leave a like, subscribe, and check out the link in the description to enter a chance at winning our Apple product giveaway.